dividend investing. That's why you're here. I know it. It's so interesting. It's one of my favorite topics to learn about. It's my favorite topic to talk about. It is so exciting. And I wanted to share my portfolio with E-Trade where I am focusing on dividends. I opened this account in February of 2020, which seems kind of funny in terms of timing because at that point the market was pretty solid. It's pretty strong. And then we know in March, it pretty much tanked. And then in April, it started coming back a little bit. But this portfolio has shown a little bit of loss, I'm gonna be honest. For a lot of people, that would scare them off of investing. They'd wanna sell it, they'd say, forget about it. I'm just gambling, I'm losing my money. I don't wanna do that, I can't afford this. No, that's not how I think. I know that prices are low, I wanna buy more. And that's what I've been doing. All right, we've established that my primary goal is dividends with this E-Trade portfolio. I'm looking at companies that are well-known, that are stable, that are solid, and that have a history of dividend growth. I'm looking for low PE ratios, and I get really excited if there's a dividend yield over 4%, but that isn't necessarily a requirement for all these companies as there are other factors that I'm looking at. Now, I'm pretty well diversified because I own so much in index funds, which I covered in my Vanguard video earlier. But for this, I still wanna diversify across different industries. So the first one that I wanna cover is consumer. 8% of the stock that I have with E-Trade is with Pepsi. It's a well-known brand, we all know what it is, it's delicious. Pepsi also includes Gatorade, Aquafina, and Frito-Lay. 9% of my E-Trade stocks are with Procter Gamble. This includes brands like Crest, Gillette, and Charmin. So keep stocking that toilet paper. One of my largest holdings is 12% with Disney. And we all know Disney, we all know the name, the movies, the theme parks, the cute little stuffed animals. I love the company. The dividend yield is not that high, but it's consistent, it grows, and I really have faith in the company. Next, I have health and pharmaceuticals. I have 2% of my E-Trade portfolio with AbbVie and another 5% with Pfizer. Both are pharmaceutical companies. One of my largest holdings is with Johnson & Johnson at 13%. We all know what they do, uh, but they have Tylenol, Neutrogena, and Clean and Clear brands in their company. Banking is an industry that I am very comfortable with, and I put a lot of money here simply because I, I used to work for a bank, I know how they make their money, I'm comfortable with it. I have 3% with Bank of America, 5% with Wells Fargo, and 12% with JP Morgan Chase. These institutions have really been hit with what's going on with coronavirus. So this is where I saw one of my largest dips since first buying in February, I believe. Uh, but this is also where I am trying to buy a lot of shares because there is such a value there. And I'm confident that Bank of America, Wells Fargo and Chase are going to be around long after this is over. A newer industry for me are the airlines and they make me a little bit nervous. Of course, we all saw Warren Buffett enter that market, so I was feeling a lot better, and then we saw him exit that market, and I was feeling a little bit shaky. But what it comes down to, I like some of the numbers, I know that they were hit extremely hard with coronavirus and what's going on with the market, so there are some great deals, and I don't feel like the airlines are gonna be going anywhere. We're still gonna need to travel, we're still gonna want to travel, so it's kind of a luxury industry. Uh, but it's also out of necessity. So it's something that I believe in. So I chose to enter the airline industry with Delta. About 9% of my E-Trade portfolio is with Delta. I don't have any other airlines besides them and I think I'm okay with that right now. We'll see how it goes, but right now I'd like to focus on just Delta. The remaining 3% is in basic materials with a company called International Paper. I initially really liked this company because they make the boxes and the packaging used to ship items, especially since I see us going more towards online shopping. I didn't foresee this coronavirus and not being able to go to a brick and mortar store, um, but I had a lot of faith in that. I've kind 
kind of changed my mind a little bit, but not enough where I'm going to exit that position. Uh, so right now, as it stands today, I have 3% of my E-Trade portfolio with international paper. Now what we came for, the dividends, right? So these are the companies that I have, and now let's talk about how much they've paid me for owning them. Since I just started this account with E-Trade a couple months ago, I'm just getting started, so the numbers aren't that impressive. Year to date, I've made about $35 in dividends. So I know I'm not gonna be like going and buying a Ferrari or a Tesla or anything right now, but it's a process, right, over time. So here's what I've made so far. I'm gonna refer to my notes because I do not have that kind of memory. So in March, I made $17.65. Uh, Chevron paid me $6.45. Johnson & Johnson paid me $5.70. Bank of America, 72 cents. Pepsi, $4.78, which, I don't know, can that buy me a six pack of Pepsi? In April, JP Morgan Chase paid me $9.90 for dividends. In May, so far, the companies that have paid me have been the telecommunications companies. So AT&T gave me $3.64, Verizon gave me $3.69 for a total of $7.33 so far in May. With all the companies I mentioned, one of the reasons I chose them was because several of them pay dividends in different months. My ultimate goal would be to get income every single month from companies, as even as possible. I know that's a long shot. Um, I'm still not evened out, so if you know companies that pay dividends in April and October, those are two months in particular I'm kind of struggling in. So please comment below and help a girl out. Shameless plug to please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, I wanna hear from you. I wanna hear what companies you know of that pay dividends in April and October. And I also wanna know what you think about these companies that I own shares in with the goal of maximizing dividends. Thank you so much for watching this Champagne Sense video and I look forward to talking to you in the comments below.